friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all my favorite products from one of my favorite brands to review here on my channel, and that is RMS Beauty. I know, I just can't get enough of this brand. I have tried so many of their products and I've absolutely fallen in love with this brand. Many of their products have made their way into my daily makeup routine and even skincare routine because they also have skincare as well. And I realized the other day, I don't have a favorites video for RMS. So here you go, guys. Here are all of my favorites. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys also some of my favorite shades of each of the products. I haven't tried every single product from the brand, but I've tried quite a few, okay? So if you wanna hang out with me today and hear about all of my favorites from RMS, then keep watching. Real quick before I get into my favorites, I wanna let you guys know if you are watching this video the weekend that it goes live, RMS is having a big Earth Day sale on their website. They are doing 20% off site-wide. And not only that, here's the juicy part. They also have a select list of items, which I think are really good, that are 30 to 50% off. So as I go through my favorites today, I will just call out to you guys the shades and the products that are gonna be in that like juicy deal list. So maybe you wanna prioritize those. And if you are watching this after the sale has ended, I do have a coupon code that you can use pretty much all year round. It's just Sophia Sees Beauty 20. So I'll put that in the description box down below in case you want to shop at a later time. So that's it guys, I just wanna give you a quick heads up. The sale ends on April 22nd. And now let's get into my RMS favorites. There's really no other way to start this video than to talk about the RMS Redimension Hydro Powder Blushes. Where do I start? Where do I start, friends? Okay, these are my top recommendation from RMS. If there's anything that you try from the brand, you need to try one of the blushes. These are some of my favorite blushes in my collection. I own every single shade, okay? I'm really obsessed with these. And not only am I obsessed with these, my subscribers really like them too. These are hands down the most popular product on my channel. I review a lot of makeup, a lot of luxury beauty, and these are hands down the most popular product that I review, like, ever. You guys cannot get enough of these. You DM me all the time. You tell me, like, what shade you got and how much you like it. And that just warms my heart because now we can all share the love of these blushes. If you've never tried these before, let me take a step back. Let me stop fangirling right here. These are beautiful, gorgeous, gossamer, glowy, shimmery blushes, okay? They're kind of like a blush and highlighter hybrid, although they don't have any chunky glitter and they really blend across the skin beautifully. I have a lot of subscribers who have more mature skin and even my mom uses these and they all agree doesn't highlight texture too much. It's like just the right amount of glowiness and it just really brightens up the cheeks. I absolutely love them. One of my favorite colors, which I'm wearing on my cheeks today that I have in my hand right here is called my tie. This is my recommendation for the spring and summer, especially if you have more of like a light to medium skin tone. This color is described as a sunlit citrusy coral. And I'll show you guys the demo of me applying it right here. You can see I put a little bit too much on from the start. These are pretty pigmented, but if you buff them in or if you use a little bit of a lighter hand or a more wispy blush, you definitely can control the color. They're very, very user-friendly to use. And you guys can see right there that Mai Tai not only is a beautiful citrusy coral, but it also has a gorgeous golden shift. This color is actually in the 30% off bucket in the sale. And the other beautiful shade that is 30% off is the shade Sangria. This is another recommendation that I have if you want kind of like a bright blush for the summer. And also if you have a deeper skin tone, this one is described as a golden spice ruby rose so so pretty i really like terracotta ruby types of blushes so i really like that one just applied with a very light hand the other two colors that i would recommend for you guys more of like everyday makeup types of shades are number one maiden's blush this is the one that i use the most out of all of the ones in the range and obviously because it is pretty neutral this one is described as a soft cinnamon sparked with sweet pink and that's what i like the sweet pink part because it's neutral but it has a little bit of like a pinky undertone which makes it look really natural and really just melt into the skin it goes with every single eye look and then the other shade that i probably wear a little bit more than others is the one that is called Kier royale and this one is described as a dimensional mauve surprise which is kind of a weird description but it's basically a very soft kind of berry mauve if you like the idea 
of berry toned makeup, but you feel like maybe it's a little bit too like vibrant and harsh on your skin tone. Highly recommend Kier Royale. That one is actually my mom's favorite. So those are the two that I tend to wear the most, but all of the shades are beautiful. And I actually have several reviews, reviewing, swatching, demoing all of the shades. So I can link those down below if you guys want to see more demos. My next favorite, which by the way, these are in no particular order. My next favorite are the RMS Eye Lights. These are the cream single shadows. They come in a little aluminum tube, just like this. And they also come with this handy little stick that you can twist down to get every little bit of product out of that aluminum tube. Although this is pretty much like a lifetime supply. This is a lot of product. You really only need a tiny little bit. I love these for gorgeous, shimmery, bright eyed, one and done looks. I reach for these all the time if I'm doing something a little bit more minimalist or if I want to look like I tried hard, but like I really didn't guys, let's be real. Perfect one and done. These don't crease. That's also what I really like about them. They're incredibly long wearing. They dry down, but they don't dry down to make your skin look crepey or highlight any texture. Really, really beautiful. And I love the colors that they have. The one that I have right here is actually one of the ones that is in, I believe the 30% off category. This one is new to me. It was just gifted to me by the brand. It is called Sunbeam. And I don't know how I didn't have this shade before because I think this one might be my new favorite. This one is described as a golden coral with a hint of peach. You need this shade for the summertime. It's so beautiful. I love that it's a mix of the gold and the coral. It is the perfect pairing with the Mai Tai blush. Is it not? It's kind of like the cream version of the Mai Tai blush. I'm loving these kind of monochromatic summery looks. This is such a good shade. The other shade that I really like that I put in the inner corner, which I wear very often is called Moon Dust. This one is described as a starlit champagne and that's exactly what it is. It's just a beautiful eye brightening shade. And that one is actually really good to kind of pair with any of the other colors that are in the range because it really just brightens everything up. No matter what your skin tone, it's going to pop because it has just so much like reflectivity and luminescence. They're not glittery, by the way. You're not going to get any like chunks of glitter in your eye. They're just beautifully metallic. The other shade that I really like that's in the 30% off bucket is called Aurora. I reviewed this for you guys a couple months ago when they first launched this shade. This one is a vibrant violet. Take a look at this one. Oh my gosh, if you are into all of the lilac shade makeup that is coming out right now for spring, this is kind of like a trendy color right now, you're definitely going to want to pick this up. And then my other favorite shade that you definitely need, this is for my cool tone lovers out there, is Supernova. Supernova is described as a sterling chocolate. And that is such a perfect name because th that's exactly what it is. It's like a cool toned chocolate. It's a brown with a little bit of like silver mixed into it. This is like the perfect one and done date night look or kind of going out look that makes it look like you did a soft smoky eye, but you totally didn't. You just put on one shadow. Maybe you do a little eyeliner with it as well to kind of add a little more dimension or something. It's such a good shade. I feel like she really nailed it with all of the shades. And yeah, these are kind of like an everyday item for me. So I also recommend the eye lights. My next favorite from RMS are the lip lights. These are the tinted lip balms. They come in these little aluminum tubes, just like the eyeshadows that I just showed you. And full disclosure, these were gifted to me by the brand. And I'm really glad they did because to be perfectly honest with you, friends, if they hadn't gifted them to me, I definitely would not have purchased these because it's like, you know, another lip balm, like a tinted lip balm. I have things like that in my collection. Wrong, I don't have things like this in my collection because these are the most nourishing, rich, hydrating lip balms that I have ever tried. They remind me a lot of the Bite Beauty lip mask, the one that they had before they reformulated it. There isn't lanolin in these. I did check. It's just a blend of other kind of like oils and humectants and waxes and stuff. I don't know what they put in these. It's got to be magic because they're so incredibly nourishing. It is a thicker formula, but I really like that because it just feels like a lip mask. That's the style of lip balm that I enjoy. And it also stays on the lips for longer. You know, if I put one of these on my lips before I go to bed, I wake up and I still feel it there. My lips are still hydrated. And also because they're tinted, I don't really want that like sliding around on my lips. So I also appreciate that 
that. They're just so nourishing and lovely. And I never really got a chance to try the more vibrant shades in the line. So thankfully, the two that are in the 30% off sale are the two that I would have purchased anyway. The first one that I have right here is called Rhapsody. And this one is described as a spicy cinnamon. And as you guys can see, like these aren't pigmented like a lipstick, okay? They are a lip balm, but it just gives you a really beautiful kind of spicy plum tint to the lips. So, so gorgeous. And then right here, we have the other shade that is 30% off. This is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today. And this one is called Babette. This one is described as a sheer orange-based red with a subtle shimmer. I don't really see much of the shimmer. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> like I don't see that much shimmer, but I do see the red tint. And I just love that little sheer wash of color because I'm not always gonna commit to a red lipstick, but you know, maybe with like the moon dust eye light all over the lid and a little like, red tint, that's definitely a look that I go for. In addition to these, I also wanna show you guys, they have a nighttime version and it's more or less almost the same thing. It just doesn't have a tint. So if you want something that doesn't have a tint, I would go with this same nourishing formula. I use this on my lips every single night and I absolutely love it. And while this one is not 30% off, it's a part of the general sale. And I also noticed that you can like build your own lip duo. And so you get one of these and then you can pick one of the tinted ones. And if I'm not mistaken, when you buy that bundle, it's 25% off. So that's just like a little tip for you guys. That's honestly the one that I would probably get. I would get one of these and then you could pick what color suits you best. I wanna recommend a product to you all that's actually in the 50% off category. This this is for my cream makeup lovers out there. This is the Luminizer X Quad. And I'm actually very like nostalgic about this product because I used to have one of these maybe like two, three years ago before I was on YouTube. And I actually used it up. I used it up to the point where, you know, it kind of got a little bit gross and I couldn't really salvage any more product. And then I had to retire it. And I saw that it was gonna be 50% off. So I wanna talk about this product a little bit. If you like sort of dewy, balmy highlighters, I think you need to pay attention to this. I like the ones from RMS a lot more than like the Chanel sticks, for example. There's just something about the formula from RMS that I really like. Maybe because it's a little bit thicker, it just kind of sticks a little bit better. Maybe it's because it sort of sets down a little bit more. I'm not really sure, but their Living Luminizer, that is one of their OG star products. I purchased it years ago. It's still to date probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite cream dewy highlighter. And basically what Rosemary Swift has done is she kind of took that star product, she made slightly different colors of it and she put it in this little palette. So you guys can see right here, we have four different shades. I'll show you swatches of what they look like on my hand. Keep in mind, they're pretty sheer. So we have the Luminizer X, an ultra sheer light reflective glow, the Luminizer Nude, a subtle radiant copper, Champagne Rosé, a warm blush champagne, and Champagne Fizz, a glam opalescent shimmer. You guys can tell that one is my favorite. <laughs> I dug in a little bit too much to that one. But these are gorgeous. Once again, if you like a dewy, natural glow, it's the kind of glow where you might not really notice it that much at first, but if you're out in public, if you're in like, you know, a bathroom or you're in like the gym or something and like the light just kind of catches your cheekbone and you're like, ooh, I look so naturally radiant right now. You know, these are kind of my go-to. Just tap them on the cheek just a little bit and you're good to go. It is a very natural and minimalist look. So I wanted to recommend this to you all as well. Oh, one last thing that I wanna mention. On the website, on the product description, it describes this as having a bronzer. I'm assuming they mean this shade. It's not a bronzer, okay? It's not a bronzer, guys. This is just like a peachy toned highlighter. So I also wanna mention that as well. Don't be fooled, like you're not gonna get any like bronzing power from that shade, just to be honest with you. You knew it was coming, you knew it was coming. We already talked about the Three Dimension Hydro Powder blushes. Now we gotta talk about the Three Dimension Hydro Powder bronzers. That's right, they just launched these at the time of me filming this video. They made a bronzer version, same formula, but just different tones that are more appropriate for bronzing the face. I did do kind of like a mini review and comparisons in a recent video, which I will link down below. If you want to see kind of 
you know, comparisons with these up against other bronzers in my collection, but I only had two of the bronzers at that point. Now, friends, I have all four shades. So I'm gonna show you swatches of all four right here. At the top, we have the lightest shade. This is called Beach Walk Betty, and this is described as having neutral nude undertones. This is gonna be for my friends out there who have fair skin tones like me. This is probably one of the most beautiful fair skin glowy bronzers that I have ever tried, specifically because it has this very unique pinky undertone that is just so incredibly flattering if you are fair skinned. Absolutely love it. I'll show you a demo in just a second. The next shade that we have right there is called Malibu Muse. This one is gonna be a lot more golden. If you're kind of fair to medium skin and you have a warmer undertone, go with this one. It's probably the only one that I won't use because this one is quite like orangey for me. The next one that we have there, however, I also really like. It's called Tan Lines. This one also has a rather neutral undertone, but it's just gonna be deeper, more for like medium skin tones. And then the last shade that we have right here is called Bikini Beach. And this is described as a deep bronze with a slight terracotta base. And this is gonna be for medium to deep skin tones. I will show you guys a quick demo that I did to create the look that I have today. I first went into Beach Walk Betty and you guys can see the beautiful natural kind of pinky undertone color that this bronzer gives. It is, you know, glowy, but once again, like these aren't glittery. It's not like you're buffing a highlighter all over your face. There's something really special about the formula and the texture. A lot of you guys, a lot of you guys are really excited about this Beachwalk Betty shade. And then believe it or not, I actually went into the deepest shade, which is called Bikini Beach once again. And I've really been enjoying using this as kind of like a contour or brontour because it's not too warm. Like it has that terracotta base, which kind of does kind of warm up my skin a little bit, but it's almost like the deeper version of Beach Walk Betty. Beach Walk Betty has like the pink undertones and then Bikini Beach has the terracotta ones. And I don't know, I just really like the sculpted look that this gives. So I've really been enjoying these. These are the newest product from the brand. And I know a lot of you guys have really enjoyed them as well. So they're definitely a recommendation in my book. I bet a lot of you guys are tired of me talking about the Supernatural Radiance Serums from RMS. These have become part of my daily routine. I literally use them all the time. I actually keep them with my skincare. They're marketed as skincare. They have SPF 30 and they're kind of like a sunscreen. They're kind of like a sunscreen meets a glowy primer. And I like to wear these you know, on their own, just kind of like on top of my other sunscreen, because I don't, I don't use as much as I probably would need to, to get really good coverage from these. I'll just be perfectly honest with you, but I like to put them on top of my sunscreen. If I just want a little bit of radiant glow, if I'm having a no makeup makeup day, if I'm feeling like a little bit gross, but I don't feel like putting makeup on, I will go in with these because they just give a beautiful radiance and they do tend to be more pigmented than a lot of other like glow primers and mixing products out there. So I definitely appreciate that. I have both the light aura and the medium aura shades. And just kind of depending on the look that I'm going for, I'll switch between them. The light aura you'll see from the demo gives a beautiful kind of pink tone radiance. So if you are fair like me, this is probably the safest one for you to get. It just leaves my skin looking blurred and plump and moisturized. And if I am gonna put makeup on top, it's a fabulous base. I also really like to use these for mixing into my foundations. You guys will see the demo of the medium aura shade right there. If I wanna look a little bit tanner, I can just apply this to my bare skin. But also if I wanna take a foundation and make it just a little bit toastier, maybe I got a little bit tanner and it no longer works for me or I bought the wrong shade or something, you can put the medium aura shade, mix it in and it just adds a delicious, glowy, slightly bronzy tone to your foundation. They're just a really great kind of multi-purpose product. Like I said, it's like skincare, it's makeup, it's a primer, it's like a mixing medium. They are like an everything product to me. And I do have a lot of other glowy products in my collection, but these are still one of my favorites, once again, probably because they are a little bit more pigmented than others. I have one more lip favorite from RMS. These are the Legendary Serum Lipsticks. Don't let the name fool you, friends. I wouldn't say that these are serum -y lipsticks. These are not 
going to be like the YSL Love Shine. They're not going to be like the Dior Refillable Hydrating Lipsticks. It's not like that at all. They're not like lip oils or anything like that. These are beautiful, creamy, high pigment, nourishing, beautiful lipsticks. This is one of the best lipstick formulas that I have ever tried. I've tried a lot of really good ones in the past year and I still like those, but I do really think that this formula is incredibly special. Like I said, these are very creamy and they give the pigmentation of a matte lipstick, but they stay hydrated all day. When you first put them on, you do get a little bit of shine. Then that kind of wears away after a while and you are just left with this ultra saturated, yet comfortable lip color. They have a lot of really beautiful bright colors. Honestly, I wish that they had a couple more nudes, not going to lie, but thankfully we're kind of going into the spring and summertime and a lot of the colors are very, very suitable for that. I would say my top pick for this season, if you're kind of going for more of a spring vibe, would be this one that I demoed for you guys earlier. This one is called Melanie and it is described as a Tahitian coral. I feel like this is going to look good on so many skin tones. And once again, because they're so pigmented, I feel like they show up on everybody's lips, even mine, which tend to be a little bit, you know, rosier and more pigmented, if that makes sense. My other two favorite shades that I recommend for this season are number one, Miranda. This one is a classic soft rose. Who doesn't like a nice pink for springtime? So I highly recommend checking out that shade. Hands down, my favorite shade out of the whole range is Ruby Moon. And this is a bright, delicious, saturated, poppy orange red. I think Ruby Moon is the name of Rosemary Swiss dog, if I'm not mistaken. I just think that that is so cute as well. It is such a beautiful red. If you're looking for something very classic, but also very comfortable and nourishing on the lips, I would definitely, definitely check these out. Just a couple more favorites to share with you all. The next one that I have right here is the Redimension Hydra Dew Luminizer. This is the highlighter that they launched recently last year, and it's basically just like the bronzers and the blushes that I showed you guys, kind of like a similar formula, but it is a highlighter, so it's going to be more glowy. But what I like about this is just how smooth it is, how much it really blends and just kind of melts into the skin. The color that I have right here is called Prosecco Fizz. It is a beautiful classic champagne. Honestly, the only thing that I don't like about these highlighters is that they only launched one shade. That kind of disappoints me, so... RMS, you need to launch more because I really feel like this is only appropriate if you're more like fair, light, maybe medium skin tone. Otherwise, I think it might be just a little bit too blinding, but the formula is really great. If you're looking for a nice classic highlighter, I do recommend it. I just think that we need more shades. Woo, okay, we gotta finish things up because it's getting a little bit dark outside, if you can tell. I've been sitting here for quite some time, but we cannot leave friends without talking about the RMS skincare. And to be perfectly honest with you, just like the lip lights, I probably would not have tried these products if they had not been gifted to me. I get gifted a lot of skincare, and I already have a lot of skincare that I enjoy, but I will say. I've been testing out this skincare for, I wanna say over two months now, so quite some time, and I really like it. I think that these formulas are absolutely gorgeous. Most of the products in their range, I have three that I'm gonna to recommend to you today that I've personally tested, can't speak for the rest of them, but most of the products in their line feature the super fruit cockadoo plum, which is the highest natural source of vitamin C, so they're packed with a lot of antioxidants. The packaging as well is also super luxe. These are heavy. Heavy, like, listen to this. That is glass, which I believe also makes these recyclable, if I'm not mistaken. Very, very luxe packaging. I would say my favorite product, eee, which one is my favorite? I think my favorite one is the beauty oil. This is the Cockadoo Beauty Oil. I like to go in with this one before my moisturizer, as they recommend. It just feels rich, like super luxe. Just like the lip lights, like the texture is what really, really gets me. I have other oils, but I think that this one is probably my favorite that I've tried. I have that really expensive Shantikai one, and I, I do like it as well, but if I had to choose one, I would definitely, definitely choose this one. I also have right here the Cockadoo Lux Cream. This is the moisturizer. Take a look at that. I'm like almost done. And this is really beautiful as well. This is not going to be as thick as like my Creme de la Mer. So I think that this is a little bit more appropriate for me in the spring and summer. I don't really 
need creme de la mer in those months. It's more of just kind of like a, a creamy, I don't know, what would you call it? Like a medium thickness cream. It's easy to spread. It's still very moisturizing, but it's not as heavy duty as my creme de la mer. Everything has a very light scent. It doesn't smell fragrance. It just kind of smells like cream, if that makes sense. The scent is not overpowering at all. So I'm almost done the moisturizer. This is the one that I've been using pretty much every single day. And then lastly, they sent me the Super Serum Hydrating Mist. And I really like this one. I've mentioned this before in some other videos because it's a mixture of an oil and then also like a water-based solution. So you mix it up and then when you spray it on your face it doesn't feel like a lot of other sprays where it just kind of all evaporates off like it kind of sucks the moisture out of your skin this actually feels like it's adding moisture and it's also really great for kind of rehydrating your makeup throughout the day if you're like me and you sit on like zoom calls all day or if you're in like air conditioning or you have a heater next to you and your skin gets really dry this is going to sort of help to like rehydrate your makeup and you can kind of you know fix anything that got messed up throughout the day it's a really nice mist i don't normally buy face mist because i don't think that they're necessary <laughs> like i kind of think that they're gimmicks but this is actually one that i really really like and the mister the mister on this so fine oh my gosh it's just like it's like a baby's breath on your face what am i saying i don't even know how to describe how fine this mist is they really put a lot of thought into the packaging i would imagine they put a lot of thought into the ingredients and just kind of like the overall experience of the skincare i'm recommending it too if you're looking for some skincare then i would highly recommend checking these out i think the mist is a really great add-on if you're going to be buying some makeup but if you're going to get anything if you're like looking for skincare i would probably say the beauty oil is my favorite and that is it my friends those those are all of my top picks from RMS, at least at the time of me filming this video. It is officially almost dark outside, so I feel like it is time to wrap this video up. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what are your favorite products from RMS. Are there any that you've, I don't know, maybe been thinking of getting? Are there any that you think you will be picking up in the sale? I would definitely love to know all of your feedback. What are some products that you want to see from the brand? Let me hear all of your thoughts. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.